Okay guys, here's something that a lot of people don't realize. When you're using paper, um, which is the best way to go, especially if it's all natural stuff, uh, when it comes time to, like she came out of shed now, she didn't shed yet, but she came out of her blue, you must mist her down a little bit. Okay, it doesn't hurt to mist her down. And she will shed in one piece, I guarantee it. Now with this here, and it doesn't hurt to wet the paper a little bit because it will dry. But this is what I do, and it works. It works great. Get a little extra water in there. Oh, my fingers are going to get a little extra water in there. You know, and that's with any of the papers that you use. Now tomorrow this will be dry. She'll probably be shed out in one piece. But these are the things you got to do to keep it... Uh, so she can uh, shed really good, you know? So, look, she enjoyed that too. All right, guys, we're gonna go over here. Let me shut this off. We're gonna look at a couple things over here. Now, as I come over here, we'll look at this girl here. And so, ooh, she's starting to look like she might be going into shed a little bit. It's hard to say. It is hard to say. Because her color's kind of dulling out some. So that's a possibility, a good thing, huh? Let's look at this girl down here. See what she's up to. And she is just laying there all coiled up really nice. Hmm. We're going to see what happens with her now, too. Oh, she went to the bathroom right back there in the corner a little bit. But she's looking good. She's got a really high iridescence to her now. She's looking phenomenal. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so I'm back. Popping on a few of these geckos here. Yeah, they're all looking mighty fine. Yes, they are. They're all looking good. Boom. So, you guys just tell me what you think. We're going to go look over at some tarantulas now and go from there, huh? We'll be back. I got to clean that cage today. Okay guys, here we are over here looking at some of these tarantulas. So, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't want to move it. I'm gonna have to take you guys off the tripod and show you right there what's going on there. That is one of the pet dirts. Bumbacabaclas. There's another one. Ooh, it's right there, too. Very good. How about right here? Can we see the one in there? Can we get three for three? Maybe not. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah. You guys are all around in here doing pretty good. Um, I'm going to get you guys back up. Ooh, look, there we go. We don't want to disturb you guys too much. There we go, there's one. Very good. I love these guys. They are amazing little oops. I'm animals. I just find them fascinating to myself to myself. <clears throat> Alright, let me get you back up here so we can look at these guys a little bit better. And then we'll decide what we're gonna do from there. Anyway, let's look at this one here. This is the Avic. No, this is the. Oh, there it is, too, right on the outside, sitting there. This is the Hapalopa species Columbia Large. Which is very cool.
And that one's right there. On the outside also. Stick it on the side right there. You know, I find these guys just fascinating. I know I say it every time I show them to you. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty uh, amazing little critters. I think it's so beautiful what they do to their webs. I don't know. I do not know. We're going to see how today plays out with these guys because what do you mean you never know what you're going to see when it comes to these guys like right here look at there look at that one there just hanging out right there that is the avicular avicular the Guyana pink toe This here is the Brachiopelma Vagon, I mean Brachiopelma Alba Pelosum. It's way back in there. You guys can see it back there. I know you guys can, right? There, let me zoom in just a little bit for you. It's right back there. I'm sure not going to be able to see it real well. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. It's back there. And we'll be over here. See if we can see what this brachiopelma baggins. Can we see down in there and see it anywhere? And there it is, way back in there. Just Let's see if we can see it from this side, maybe, huh? There's its hole. So we'll see. I don't know. And this one here. I know it's going to be right beside the log right there. Right there it is. This one here, he has a little hole right here that he dug. Now, how deep it goes, I don't know. It might only go down, oh, it only goes down to right there, but he's got a big hole right over here that goes straight down. I don't, wait, let me back out here so you guys can see a little better. Right there, boom, that's where all that white spot's at, because that's humidity, I guess. <clears throat> so, and then of course, there's the big girl right here, or guy, or whatever you want to call him, that goes all the way down on the bottom, down in there, and you can see him running right there. He's right there, but... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell everybody about the channel. Help people in need if you can. It's very important to help people in need if you can. Um, yeah. So. Uh, what else was I going to say? I don't know. I don't remember why well, I remember, but I don't remember exactly. It wasn't nothing important, so I'm not even going to say it. Um, yes. Well, let us continue on with a video for tomorrow. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being part of the channel. Uh, I'm going to start doing more of the videos like I did yesterday. If you guys really liked the video yesterday where I... I was able to take, when I took the animals out and I set them down, and until we get some eggs, it's going to kind of be slow around here, but once we get eggs, you guys should enjoy it, so uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, yeah, tell me what you guys want to see, and I'll see if I can get it on video for you guys, and if you have any questions about animals, too, like anything about ball pythons, you know, I used to breed Burmese pythons, I used to breed reed ticks, get any even questions, you know. Um, feel free to ask, because uh, I'll help you any way I can.
So, peace.